William Blake, in his book, The Marriage of Heaven and Hell, asserts that there cannot be a real distinction between those two destinations. Because God is an artist, according to Blake, and as an artist knows that his own best being is in his creations. So God, whose best creation is man, must find his own best being in man. Man is the form that God creates and loves, and so God must be a man. Therefore, there is no hell, because God could not send himself to hell. C.S. Lewis, in his book, The Great Divorce, attempts to refute Blake's claim. Lewis, in his preface, states this, that even on the biological level, life is not like a pool, but like a tree. It does not move towards unity, but away from it, and the creatures grow further apart as they increase in perfection. Good, as it ripens, becomes continually more different, not only from evil, but from other good. We asked Maranatha students how they would live their life if they subscribed to Blake's worldview. We posed this question. If there was no God as we understand him, no absolute truth, and no consequence for your sin, what would you do? This is what they said. I would steal, cheat, lie. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, I can't do this. I would do what everybody else did. I would do what my family did because it wouldn't matter at that point. It would just be whatever felt right. Do whatever I wanted to and anything that I could get away with with the people around me. I would assume the law of entropy to be correct because it's scientific. And if the law of entropy is correct, I would want to be in charge of something in my life and I'd probably commit suicide. I can't be in charge of my life. Why not be in charge of my death? I would live life like... I would definitely not be at Maranatha right now. Party and focus on money and have a career that's set on money. Um, if I helped anybody, it would probably be um, so that I could be recognized. Whatever I wanted. Run around like a crazy man and just party. Whatever feeling popped into my head, I would indulge in that and I would care little to nothing about the effects of others. I would be a very self-absorbed person and I would care about pleasing people only to the fact that I could get something out of it. Tough question. <laughs> um... I would do what I would see as um, being beneficial for me, whether that meant being nice to other people or being mean to other people. However, I could get benefit for myself, that's what I would do. Uh, living to please myself and my flesh. But in the end, there would be no solace for me and there would be an ultimate depression because I'd have nowhere to run in times of trouble. I would shoot myself. My answer to this question is tainted because to me, if there was no God, there wouldn't be life. However, if we had life without God, then I would probably do whatever I please. <laughs> you guys are the person to do this. Um, oh gosh, that's a tough question. Take out my person, a person in my life that probably like ruin my life in the future, like in the past. Take her out, eliminate her. No, there would I, I would be a law to myself probably. Um, yeah, because if there's no absolutes, then I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it, there has to be one absolute. Do you think what Hitler did was right or wrong? In his mind, it was correct for what he was doing. To me, it wasn't, but to him, it was. Sometimes, you know, God's word to us can be the absolute truth that we need for that moment and that time. Murder is murder. But do you think you should try to stop it? Or do you think it's wrong? Well, it's kind of a tough question. Uh, not particularly. I think it's all on the person, more or less. So there's no absolute truth. There is. Nothing is absolute. I guess that's, that's a flawed argument. 
Because if you're saying that nothing absolute is absolute, that's an absolute statement, isn't it? I don't know if I put absolutes on, on, on even truth. If God's truth is truth, and it's objective truth, and it's absolute truth. What do you base that belief on? Do you base it on your... Uh, are you getting that from yourself or society? I, I, well, I base it on, on, on my own uh, understanding of... of uh, and, and actually, I see it as a, a, a value of life. Where do you get that idea? Is it from, is it your own idea or is it from society or objective standard? Or? Well, mostly from a Christian background in church and we agree with what the church preaches. Can it really be, as it was to most of these people, that truth is really relative? We would argue no. Throughout history, there has been a large number of philosophers who, while not subscribing to Christianity per se, adhered to some form of theism and stated that because there is a God, there is an absolute. John 1.1 1, 1 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. John 17 says, Thy Word is truth. And Christ himself said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If there is no absolute truth, there is no Christ. There is no God because God himself claims to be that truth.